Globally, the fight against HIV AIDS continues to gain traction and in some places it's actually good for business. In Brazil's Amazon, about 700 families are working to harvest latex from rubber trees. The latex is, latex rather, is then used to make condoms. Even better, environmentalists say this is also good for the rainforest. That's because the trees keep growing and are not being cut down. The region most affected by HIV continues to be Africa, but there is significant progress there as well. As noted in a recent report from the United Nations AIDS program, and speaking more broadly, there are breakthroughs in how the infection is treated, even prevented around the world. What we do over the next five years will determine the next 15. The fight against HIV AIDS is at a critical point. Over the past decade, United Nations data shows 25 countries have at least halved new HIV infections. It's progress that researchers and advocates link to an increased investment by local governments in education and testing. The test for HIV is relatively simple, but getting people to take it has been a long time struggle in places like Mozambique. When I started doing tests around 2000, it was complicated because it was difficult to get medication, and people were asking, I do the test, and then what? We didn't know how to respond. The situation improved when the Ministry of Health started buying the antiretroviral drugs and distributing medicine for free. Antiretroviral drugs are used to keep HIV at bay after a person is infected. In most cases, HIV patients who regularly take their medications will live almost as long as those without HIV. Experts say that promise of a near normal life is leading people to get tested. It's better to know my health status before it's too late. I spend so much time on the road, I live on the road. And for extramarital relations, I always use condoms for my own safety. The latest UN AIDS report shows progress in virtually every region of the world. Between 2003 and 2013, most places saw a drop in the number of new infections per year. Still, more than 2 million people are diagnosed with HIV infections annually. We have reached everyone who is easy to reach. For the first time, we can show that 19 million of 35 million people living with HIV do not even know they have the virus. Doctors have begun using mobile testing units to get to people in hard to access areas. And researchers are still trying to develop an HIV vaccine, which would prevent any infection at all. One American group, based at the University of Rochester, is working towards a vaccine in pill form. And that's particularly important in some areas of the developing world with a high HIV burden, where using needles can be a real problem.